Paul Firebrace, I, I guess it's never over till it's over, but it's going to take something quite remarkable for Sussex to pull this one out of the fire tomorrow. It is, but if you remember at Hove, I think Yorkshire needed 25 or 26 with four wickets to go and Lydie going nicely on 80 and we won the game. So, look, it, it is never over. We, look, we, we've been on the wrong end of the game from day one. We didn't bat well enough in the first innings. You don't score your runs in the first innings. You're always chasing the game. Um, you know, we dropped catches in Yorkshire's first innings and we, didn't, we weren't as disciplined as they've been. Their, their bowling attack has been fantastic throughout the game. They might have bowled a fraction short in terms of the pitch and the first session, but their lines have been immaculate throughout the game. Um, and, you know, the, they have made sure that we've gone nowhere. So, you know, it, they bowl very few bad balls and their control of their line has been sensational. And the longer the game's gone, the control of their line and length has been fantastic. And their bowlers have made it so hard that it's caused us to play full shots, rush shots that we wouldn't otherwise wanted to play. We were better in the second as we were in the first. But if you don't get runs first innings, if you don't get... You know, it was we, we were 60 or 70 short in the first innings where we should have been um, and some very poor shots in that first innings. So, look, Yorkshire have driven this game and, you know, it's no surprise that they're going into day four in the best position. But, you know, we've got to turn up tomorrow believing we can take eight wickets before they get 75 runs. If we don't, there's no point coming. Um, but, you know, until they get the 75 runs, we've got to believe we've got a chance of winning the game. And is it the case when bowlers are bowling as well as that and they're building pressure that when a loose ball comes along, you're thinking... Oh, I, I want to hit this for four. Absolutely, and, and that's when you lose your shape. You know, you use a discipline as a batter and you get out. And that and that's exactly what's happened in both of our innings. You know, their excellent bowling has caused us to play some poor shots. Um, and, you know, that, that that's high-quality bowling from them. I think they've been really disciplined with the ball. Um, but as I say, you know, it, it's... We've had opportunities as well, and we didn't take them with our catching. We dropped catches. We probably dropped three or four catches in Yorkshire's first innings. We didn't bowl as disciplined as they did in the first innings. Um, we, we showed a bit more resolve and fight in the second innings. But as I say, if you don't get enough runs first innings, you're always chasing the game. It's almost felt like you're playing a first division side here, Paul, just in terms of, of, of this attack. So do, do you learn a little bit about your players playing against this quality of opposition? Yeah, of course you do. And, and they are first division club, aren't they, Yorkshire? I mean, you know, that, that's, they might not be because they're in our division at the moment, but you know, they, they've got a lot of quality players. And, and the other thing which is different is that you're playing on a, a, a wiki that's got pace and bounce. And we don't see too many of them in the second division. We see a lot of... That's why we've tried to leave more grass on at home so we get more carry and more bounce. And that's made for much better games. But a lot of grounds you play in the second division, um, you play on non-test grounds that haven't got the hardness. But this is obviously not a test ground, but what it has got is pace and bounce. You know, and John Dodds, the groundsman, has been doing that job here for years and continues to produce fantastic pitches. And it's made for a really good game of cricket. It's made for a good game, but it, it has exposed perhaps one or two of our techniques against the bouncing ball. And and maybe not so much technique, more shot options that people take against the bouncing ball. Someone who it hasn't exposed is, is Tom Allsop. You were saying in the week you think that you know, Tom must be in the frame for a place in England Lions this winter. I mean, how good were those two knocks in this game, Paul? That, they've been outstanding knocks. That, they really have. I mean, he, he's played brilliantly in both innings. And the one thing he's done and he's shown others how to do is to play the ball late, play under your eyes, don't go searching for the ball, keep your hands close to your body. And, and as a result, he's, he's, he's got his rewards. But he trusts his defence. He knows where his off stump is. And he's allowing himself to be patient and wait for the ball to come into an area where he feels he can score. And, and that's a sign of what the best players do. The best players know they're all stumped, they trust their defence. And as I say, they let the ball come into their scoring area. They don't get drawn into other areas that the ball is trying to draw you into. And he's always developing into a, a multi sort of faceted cricketer, really. He goes to 100, he's scored runs, he's come back from the 100 and scored runs, he's scored 100 um, in the uh, the 50 over game as well. I, I don't think he's ever played better than he's playing now. I, I, I think he's maturing as a player, and that's not to say that he was immature in any way, it's to say that I think he understands his game far better than he's ever done. Um, and and look, I think he just looks in magnificent touch. And we weren't surprised the 200 games that he played, he got runs in them and played brilliantly. In the, in the blast, he's absolutely dominated for us and played some devastating innings and then he's shown in championship cricket he can actually you know go through the gears and, and be really watchful and have a fantastic defence so you know he deserves everything that he's getting at the moment in terms of his runs and the success that he's having